Hi, my name's Fred McNew, and you're watching QAC TV7 Sports. And we're going to have a great event for you tonight. We're at out at Route 18 Park outside of Centerville, and the Queen Anne's County High School and the Ken Island High School coaches and extracurricular advisors are here. They're here for their annual picnic. They have delicious food, and they get to all be congratulated for wonderful seasons and club meetings they've had taking care of your children through the school year. Hi, I'm this, uh, my name's Laura Schroyer. I work at Graceville Elementary School as a behavior specialist, and I coach the Ken Island High School um, cheer team, JV and varsity. And you had a busy year, and how'd it go this year? Busy year. We had an excellent year. We have an extremely strong cheer team um, that did very well in competitions and at games, so very proud. Good. Great. Have a good summer, okay? Thank you. Right. My name is Kevin Reagan, and I teach at Kent Island High School, and I am the theater director, and I also teach music classes. The year went very well for me. Uh, the kids did a marvelous job on the fall play, which was the greatest play ever written, and Beauty and the Beast in the spring. And we look forward to another wonderful and fantastic year of theater at Kent Island High School. And Kevin, we had a wonderful chance. We interviewed your cast. You we did. Down, and I tell you what, delightful kids. Yep. And you guys did a great job. Thank you so much. Have a great summer. Thank you. I'm Fred Christie, the head ice hockey coach, Kent Island High School. I'm Noopy Fisher, uh, assistant coach, Kent Island High School. We had a pretty good year this year. A lot of great boys and girls. Had five girls on our team. I think we had well, we had 28 players this year. Yeah. Had a great year. You had a good turnout, right? We had a good turnout. We had a varsity and a JV team. And um, Bill Hazy is also an assistant coach. He's uh, not here today, one but he's teachers. one of the teachers there. And uh, very competitive. We, we play in the Eastern Conference of the Maryland Scholastic Hockey League, which includes a lot of the Anne Arundel County schools, Broadneck and South River and Annapolis. We, we have a lot of rivalries. And, of course, Queen Anne's. Okay, great guys, and go Blackhawks. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah. Hi, my name's Ann Johnson. I coach at Queen Anne's County High School, and that's where I am also a paraeducator. And I coach all three unified sports, uh, which is bocce ball, strength and conditioning, and tennis. And our seasons, for all the seasons, we did pretty good. We received silver, three silver medals in bocce ball, two silver medals in strength and conditioning, and tennis, I believe we received two silver, silver medals as well. Great, sounds like a real successful season. We had a good season. Now had a the lot question of fun. is, when are you getting your bocce ball course? Uh, we're working on that. Okay, all right. And we are working a, on it. You have a delightful summer. Thank you. Dale B. Kraft, Queen Anne County High School head men's basketball coach. Hey Dale, how did your season go? Went really well. We had a bunch of good kids. They were 15 and 6, got to the sectional finals, and uh, really satisfied with what happened. And you all ready for next year? You all excited? Yeah, we got a good, good bunch coming back, and uh, next year should be another year like, like last year. Now, before we get you back to basketball next year, you ready for the golf course? This I'm year? absolutely ready for the golf course. All right, Dale, we'll see you on the tee. Justin Crew, Kennard Elementary School, and I coach with the uh, men's varsity program at Queen Anne's County High School. Now, how did the men's soccer do this year? We, uh, we made it to, um, we were one win away from the North Bay side title um, and came up a little short in state playoffs, lost in the first round this year in North Carolina, but overall decent year for for, uh, for the program. So. Hey, you looking forward to next season already? Yeah, I got a core group of kids coming back, about 16 or 17 kids from last year's squad, so should be should be a solid season. And I want everybody to know, I, uh, fortunately, I teach character counts in Justin's class. We have more fun. I also gave Mr. Strait and Ted Silver dollars. Nice, nice. Thanks, Fred. Thank you, Justin. Uh, my name is Wade Hostler, and i uh, the head coach of men's soccer program. And where are you, Ken Island High School or Queen Anne's? Queen Anne's County High School. How'd you guys do this year? We had a decent year. We were a little over 500. Um, you know, room for improvement. But are you ready for next year already? Absolutely. Coach, you got about eight weeks off, and August 15th will come quick. Yeah, we'll, we'll be here real quick, and hey, we'll be ready for it. Summer. Thanks for coaching. Hi, I'm Kim Betts. I am a special education teacher at Queen Anne's County High School, and I am the head of varsity volleyball and softball coach. Kim, great volleyball season here, right? This yes, year? very okay. good. You made regional playoffs or what? We went to the regional semifinal, and we graduated 10 seniors this year, so next year is going to be... A 
rebuilding. rebuilding year. Okay, we have a yes. lot of rebuilding no, this year coming. Yes. Okay, Shannon, how about um, Shannon Quarter, Kennard Elementary School? I coach so field hockey and softball. Okay, and Shannon, I have a pleasure of going into your class once a week and doing character counts. I hope they eat all the donuts. For you, right? <laughs> yep. They do. You ladies have a great summer. Okay? Thank you. I have Dr. Carol Williamson with us, the superintendent of Queen Anne's County Public Schools. Carol, I know you're a big supporter of the extracurricular activities. Tell me how important they are. I think they're um, extremely important for students because they give them that extra opportunity to demonstrate a skill or some leadership ability, leadership ability and they seem to excel. All the students that we have in sports seem to be doing superior work in their classroom academics because they want to be successful so they can continue to play. So it's often gotten them scholarships to wonderful schools, so we know that we need to continue supporting those athletic activities. You know we have the best teams in the state. Well, you're a state champion in the and and we also. do, and we also have the best coaches. Right, and they're all here tonight. <laughs> Absolutely. And if I leave them alone, they can eat. That's correct. Thank you, Carolyn. Have a wonderful You're welcome. Summer. Thank you, Fred. Thank you. Uh, I'm here with Sid Pinder, who's the director of operations for the Queen Anne's County Public Schools. And under his umbrella of responsibilities, which are about a 1,000, right? Yep, Sid, that's correct. His sports. Sid, uh, how come sports are important? Sports are important for a variety of uh, reasons, but mainly it gives the kids the chance to get outside the uh, academic classroom to, uh, you know, enhance their skills athletically and also, you know, contribute to the positive climate of the school. And you ready for summer? Yes, but we still work 24 hours. Well, I was going to say, week. those buildings have to be clean and those fields have to be ready for fall practice. Right? And we are resodding the two uh, stadium football fields, one at Ken Island and one at uh, Queen Anne's County High School through the uh, funds raised by the uh, tournaments. So we're going to be redoing those and be ready to go in the fall. Great. Well, Sid, we're holding you from that chow line. Thanks a lot and have a good summer. Thank you. For Thank you, Sid. Yep, good see. Hi, uh, Michelle Pretty, athletic trainer for Ken Island and Queen Anne's High School. And Michelle, many thanks for keeping a lot of parents happy when the kid leaves the field or the court. You're the one that goes and rescues them. Yes. We appreciate it. Now you can go to your proud. All right, great. Dan Harding, I'm the Ken Island High School athletic director and assistant principal. Now, Dan, you're not only the assistant principal, but you run this wonderful athletic program. You had a state champion in men's lacrosse. Yes. How did the overall year go for you? Great. We had a really strong field hockey team, real strong football team. The, the danger of mentioning individual sports is I'm going to miss somebody. Uh, but probably more impressive than anything else was our student athletes averaged a GPA over 3.25. Terrific, terrific. So it was a good season. Parents happy, you're happy. Now you can go back to your hot meal. Great. Thank you very thank much. Thank you, Dan. Hi, Brad Neese, Queen Anne's County High School. Uh, coach golf and lacrosse. And Brad, how did the golf and lacrosse seasons go? Uh, we had good seasons. Uh, we're looking to build. We've got a lot of guys coming back next year and actually in both sports. So that's really going to help us out. The experience always pays off and uh, we're looking forward to a good fall with golf and a good spring with lacrosse. And Brad, close your eyes with August 15th. We'll be here before you know. <laughs> Yes, it will. Hey, thanks for being with us. Thanks for a great season. Go in with your family. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Brad. I'm here with John Marchetta, who's the athletic director of Queen Anne's County High School. John, thanks for putting your meal down, all right, and joining us tonight. <laughs> Tell me, how did the overall year go? Oh, it was a great year. We had a really good year. Um, football had a great year in terms of we beat Kent Island and went 9-1, uh, and one, or 10-1, and one, excuse me. Uh, we, girls across made it to the state championship. Uh, baseball won the regional finals. Um, you know, it was a great year overall. Bas girls basketball made it to the uh, regional final. And, and a lot of great. kids involved, right? Exactly. Got it. A lot of kids involved. Now, here's the scary thing, John. Even though it's June now, it'll be August 15th before we know it. 13 weeks. Oh, not that we're counting, right? <laughs> Hey, have a great summer. All right. I appreciate Thank it. You, John. Thank okay. you. I'm here with Dee Fisher. Dee was one of my favorite students, and now he's the head women's tennis coach at Queen Anne's County High School. And you had just had a new baby. Just had a new baby. Two boys now. Two boys. What's his what's the name? Uh, Tiago is my oldest, and then Francisco. All right. Like I like San Francisco that. 49ers. Yes, I like that. that. I'm a fan of them. But one of my favorite teams. Yes. Right? Okay. Yes. Dee, how did the season go for women's tennis? Oh, we had a great season. Another winning season. Um, consecutive years of winning seasons. Um, we got a lot of girls coming back. I had 28 girls came out for oh, tennis this that's year. That's a lot. That's a lot. We don't cut for um, tennis, so we had a lot of girls coming out Terrific. and a lot of girls coming back. Good. And it's getting better and better each year. Good. Now, D, I want you to run home. You've got two babies to feed yes. and a wife waiting for that brown. Yes. yes. D, have a great summer. Thanks. Good Thanks. talking to you. Thank you. I'm Fred McNeil. Thank you for watching QAC TV Sports. We've been at uh, Route 18 Park where we've been with athletic coaches and all types of teen sponsors. The only thing we have have left to do is take the brownies and beat Mr. Straight to them.